next three years, then I live in my entire life. My family, well, uh, never agreed to anything like this. They just uh, left my house to chase my dream. Probably the hardest decision in my life. My parents always had this idea on their minds. I want my son to be an engineer. I want my son to be a doctor. I basically ignoring every single one and did what I did best. If that fails, then I don't have anything else. Only Reckless remains. So Fnatic will take this win and deny playoffs some elements. And Reckless... 2015 was like a restart for me in my career because I didn't really have the safety anymore. I actually needed to step up and show that I was where I deserved to be. And Reckless is fighting a 2v4. Yeah, that ultimate is also just insane initiation from oh. long range. If you just slow people down, you oh. can go fly and wait a second. The team doesn't know that this is happening, but the ping's now coming out. They know that they have nothing on that side of the map, so they will just have to give this one up to Mowgli, and he'll just barely survive that exchange. And look at Vitality. The map can the move, move, and with Mowgli, Whipple really needs to get the space off. Has to be careful. Getting close and closer to that point, but the stopwatch is still not available. Walling him in. He's not going to be able to escape this one. He's going to try to flash to safety, but the auto connects. Mowgli getting that first blood. I mean, great play from Vitality, but I really so don't know. Carry Ezreal sort of go back to the physical damage as Cabo just nukes it. Yeah, trying to extend that trade. Uses the cutlass for the slow. A few more autos. Wants to get forward. Ooh, oh, buying a bit more time. But playing that one soon. Oh, well! No, no, no! Oh, no! Oh, man. Baited, outsmarted, so well played. It was such Round a big one. Here comes Mowgli, here comes Jack Joel, and the rest of Vitality. Flashing forward, Mowgli's just going to move in. He should just be able to take this one now. Wait, Bwipo's still alive. Wait, what? Bwipo. Jack Joel? I'm, so, I'm sorry. What? what? I'm sorry. No way. I'm sorry. No way. You wanted someone to replace Soaz Fnatic. I think you found him. Why will this man not? Now they're going to continue to see the play, though. They've decided they want a little bit more. Bwipo, no stopwatch left this time. Vitality are fully committed for a little bit of revenge. They will get it that time. Folks, third time is the charm. First two didn't work out. Bwipo says, yeah, okay, I guess. And now I'd love to see him run top lane, place it, and get the full five plates before 14 minutes. I mean, the, the reality is, is that this map has collapsed. Ooh, a bit of a miscommunication there. Jackal tries to send, extend the play with the ultimate, but now it looks like Jackal could go down here. Miscommunication now causing the Jackal absolutely going to die. They may just fall off immediately. They turn their attention to use Lissandra ult on the AD carry, and they make it all too easy. Double dropping for Reckless on the bottom side. But Fnatic had to force that play. They uh, look for that, that matchup. Now trying to punish the game. Clank ult does come out. They're looking for the initiation. Nemesis is going to commit using the snare first. Where's the ultimate going to go? Talia Wall now coming in. Fnatic find themselves caught in the middle of the play here. Zuka now knocked out, but Brox has a lot of damage that they can continue to lock him down. Mowgli now on the Retreat, turning back for Hillisang. Hillisang now in trouble. Knock back under the tower. Will they continue the play? No. Vitality get the better. Mowgli wants to re-engage. Beautiful ultimate from Attila. Jack Troll ready to follow up. Now continuing forward. Cabo turned off to the side. Here comes the calling. And Fnatic are going to get ripped to pieces if Cabo can get the autos out. But now he's in trouble. He's in the middle of the death carcass. And here comes the ultimate. How many kills will Brox get? That's one going through. Cabo just barely living. What a bloody fight. Vitality got the first kill. Turn their attention to the Ocean Drake. We'll see if Jizuke can do anything to contest it. No, just throws down the wall. It's going to continue to extend the play, though. Looks like they may try to catch TP. someone out. TP coming in from behind, though. Jizuki getting knocked back over the wall. Has to be careful. No flash after the last fight. Whippo is right behind him. It is a split fight, but attention is now shifted towards Reckless. He does get knocked up. Beautiful ulti coming in from Jack Troll. Reckless should drop here. Mowgli does grab the kill, but it is a one for one in the end. Mid laner for AD carry. Big shutdown there going on towards Mowgli. And Rather than Cabochard knocking on towers and getting an eventual inhibitor, which is what they want. 
Now the engage is coming through. Jizuke once again caught out. They're trying to find oh. the disengagement. Jizuke just gets absolutely blown up. Nemesis is next, though. Reckless off to the side. Cabo ready to find the fight if he can. It's a split fight overall. Cobb over the wall. A difficult position to be in. But now the ultimate coming in for Broxa. Jack Troll running forward, knowing he's dead anyway, hoping to get a concussive blows off. But with another member down, the fight now in favor of Fnatic. Four with the ever-present Baron Nasher, Vitality are constantly being playing this game where they want to go in. Mobley trying to find the engage. Jack Troll here for the follow-up. They have to be careful, though. Unbreakable already used. Attila off to the side. Nemesis looking for the re-engage. They're now backing off. Whipple has used the ultimate. Ultimate now coming in. That's going to be two quick kills. Hillisang going to keep the ball rolling. Double dropping for Broxa. They want one more. Hillisang flashing forward. Looking for that auto. Will not be able to grab it. The ultimate is there from Nemesis. The engage is clean. It will keep the fight going. A beautiful turn from Fnatic. And Fnatic can run straight towards time, Ender. And so much confidence that they are unconcerned. Remember, that is a two item vein. Every two hits is the true damage proccing on this bandage. It's just going to shred right through. And it's the fact that Whippo has already kind of herded the rest of Vitality like cat towards the complete opposite side. They know that they've got a massive death timer on Mowgli, and Blupo had full eyes of where everyone else for Vitality was. Yeah, Blupo, by the way, who got counterpicked miserably, got hard camped by Mowgli and Jazuke, and is still keeping relevant inside of the this. Orange, however, but no follow-up here. So we'll walk in face first. Well, has to be careful, but not concerned. Knows it's just Hillisang. Hillisang maybe overstaying is welcome. The shock now Procky is going to get knocked back. Beautiful use of the Blast Cone. That's going to be a free pick. Will Nemesis try to extend? We'll just back off. So that is a small consolation prize to the side of Vitality. I don't know about that one, Hillisang. That seemed pretty true. Right, and then you either have to choose. You either go the Hextech Gunblade or you go for your Blade of the Rune King. I like the emphasis on kind of the eight. Just finished the Rabadon's Death Cap as well. It's probably the best bike you can look for, but Hillisang on the flank. Mike now looking for the fight, looking for the engage. He's going to use Righteous Glory now, leaping forward, wants to knock Attila right back into the team, and the follow up is there. Immediately, Reckless is just going to tear through them. The double for the Bane. Reckless wants to keep it going, has to be careful. Flashes forward, unconcerned. Out comes the Requiem. Bye bye to Jazuke. Oh. That's another one dropped. Mowgli running for his life now as well. Ulti still connects as well. The animation was already finished. Mowgli now set to fall. Another kill dropping for Fnatic. And the hard engage found Vitality, which means it's not only going to be the Baron, but surely the game at this point. Fnatic have everything, including coming up to a 10k goal. Rate. Yeah, Fnatic, they're duoing the Baron while the other three members, because everyone stayed allied on their side, are still going to be pushing up. Cabo Shark couldn't TP into that fight. He was recalling in bottom lane when Fnatic found their mark, and two inhibitors will surely fall. And Hillsang has been fishing for that flank for at least five minutes now. He finally finds it, and the game is just now set to end. Two inhibitors dropping. They can't look to turn the fight onto Nemesis, but the rest of Fnatic now set up to collapse. Hillisang ready for one more headbutt pulverize. But instead, they set their sights on the inhibitor, and they retreat with two down, though. Without a composition that does well in these fights, you have it's to It's a Talia like, on the flank, and she's going to set up the wall. Oh, no. No thanks here. Oh, There's no. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, wait, wait a second. <laughs> Zuke, I believe, has finished the death cap now. That is one terrifying Talia. We have hit the late game status, but no one else is here. He's trying desperately to run. Does manage to get a bit of damage down, but only a mid laner killed. Huge commit, but honestly, no, really no other options were left. Yeah, exactly. Here it's just a matter of time. Vitality needs to start a fight or just end the game on the side of the Fnatic. Super's pushing in on the top side as well. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of avenues left. Hill saying, bringing the minions up towards the tower. Fnatic are saying, come to us or your base will be destroyed. They hit the tower once, it falls. Vitality have nothing left to save them. Taking their time, Jizuke off to the side, looking for the wall, looking to split up the team at least a little bit, hoping to find that perfect angle, hoping to split up the team. Reckless off on his lonesome, off to the side. They're now kicking the fight off. Reckless is not in the fight. That could be an issue stepping forward. Cabo leaping into Broxa. Brox is so incredibly low, but does have the ultimate available. If he gets killed, he will still be able to full channel the ult. But Fnatic, they are simply too far ahead in this game. They set their sights on the Nexus, and they're going to take game one. Fnatic called the bluff of Vitality. They said, sure, you can play the strong top side of the map. Sure, you can play the strong early. I feel like this was a big miss to not grab something like a Zaya. You are against a Jarvan. Zaya has so much protection if you see that they're all going to go well, in. in lane. With the survivability tools, he's going to be in a much better spot. But now we see a departure from what was the game one strategy. They think they're safe. They think no one's going to oh, come. Baby. They think it's going to be top side, but they're oh so wrong. Reckless trying to make it out to save. He can't click the lantern in that first blood. Taken out for Vitality. And that is a combo that Vitality know how it works. And now, with Jazuke, they're trying to punish Brox, who is trying to counter jungle up here. 
Rox is going to be in a tough spot. He's going to be sleepy. He has to be dead. There's literally no way out here. Beautiful start for Vitality. They were strong in game one. They're looking even stronger in the early game. It's game two. such a good early game. Uh, going to get hooked up here. Hello saying, will he pull the trigger with Broxa waiting in the wings? They're looking for the counter gank. Trying to keep it going. Looking to stack this because of blows. But immediately, TP's coming back. Fnatic Classic. Jack Troll now in trouble. He's all but set to die. Blippo now stepping forward. Can he get out of the chains? Does manage to step away. Jack Troll just barely maybe going to be able to live with the flash forward. Broxa going to be able to grab it in the end. It's a beautiful punish from Fnatic to have Broxa waiting there. Top lane, especially when you're living on that island. Whippo having that extra regen is frustrating, but now potentially overextending as they're going to try to get the play started. Will the ulti even come out? Whippo just going to get taken down instantly. Mowgli has been up here for the last two and a half minutes. It's just a ridiculous tent that's been set up. So far in this early game, but it's a different story when it comes to the team play than game one, because game one, Fnatic had the scaling. They had the team fight. Vitality had Hold nothing. On. Oh, boy. Hold on. He's going to get out exactly. scot-free, but the difference is now Vitality or the ones with the... Oh, what? 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 Did you forget about the... They forget... They always forget about the Karthus. Ladies and gentlemen, you have 200, 300 less health than you think you do, and that means that Brox is looking for the engagements. Hold on, Whippo. Maybe a 2v1. Of course, have to be careful here as this has turned against Vitality once or twice already, but Whippo now, I think, willing to take the fight here. If his ultimate does fall off, he's going to be finding himself in a tough position. Now stepping forward, realizing that he may have overstayed, Aww. but the auto attack actually going to block uh -oh, it. So uh -oh, get this health back. This is real now bad for Vitality. Over. Reckless on the way off. Paul's going to take a little bit of CC, and Kais is going to come flying in. And there it is. Reckless on cleanup duty. Two kills instantly picked up. Vitality once again overextend. Until they lose two members, they're going to lose a tower in the mid lane, and it's a dash on the map. The flash play. Shizuke now trying to sidestep his way out of there, but Brock's on a killing spree. Now locked up Mowgli. Oh no, he's just gonna get taken down once again. Reckless grabbing the kill as well, and instantly a massive gold lead in the favor of Fnatic. Red, that means it's low. Attila just has to finish him off. I'm okay. not even gonna say anything for that okay. one. Bye -bye. One man got deleted. That's really all that it is at the end of the day. Reckless. Fnatic lineup, because you just. First half of the season, we, everyone, I think, thought that they were done. But the way that they have turned it around in the second half has been immaculate. And they, right now. Uh, Vitality also have minions here in the mid lane. They're trying to siege down under this tower. This is a very brief window of time where Vitality have control over the map because of the mistake. Now, no Kavo! Oh! So all immediately. Kavo trying to leap in. Brock's not going to get taken down. No, Kavo goes golden, but in the middle of the team, there's no ultimate available. He's just going to get taken out. Meanwhile, on the backside, until it gets one, going to try to find two. But the stopwatch is there for Blippo. And they're going to back off, instantly turned back. Now, Fnatic overstay for the Baron, but it's Vitality who overstay in mid lane. Vitality, they had the window, but they went way oh, too far. Oh. Oh. Reckless on a rampage, instant TP into that pit, and it is Shizuke versus the, the Baron. Wall. They can't take it, but there's still a like Karthus inside of this pit, so at just 24 minutes, Fnatic will claim that objective. They're looking to go up 2-0. They're looking to carry all the momentum into game three. Insane. Game in a row that Nemesis on Lissandra has gone for the Mejai Stole Stealer as well. So you can just feel how confident Fnatic are in this game. Again, it's a 3-1-1 push at the moment because this top inhibitor is exposed. They are so close to knocking it down. You see Vitality have to send so many members to defend. It also means that it denies that Ten in ultimate on multiple numbers again by splitting up the map by funneling everything into vitality. They need to pick. You know, are we going to go for a pick or are we going to try to flank the other four members? And they're picking neither. They're actually just watching themselves lose the game. All three inhibitors are now set to fall. Baron buff still up for 45 seconds. I don't think Fnatic are going to go for the win here. Jizuke desperately trying to get something back, clear out a few of these minions, but. Vitality. So many teams have risen up. Fnatic, one of them. OG as well, finding their place at the top of the standings. Fnatic securing third in what was, for many, what felt like a miracle run towards the end of the split. Good news is, is that three item point he is there. He's to create that zone, that space for him, and he needs to do it right about now. Whippo, though, now looking to push him for a bit more. There's a TP on the flank. Cabo Shard, it could all come down to this. One ultimate, but Mowgli's already almost dead. Cabo, where's he gonna go? Flash forward, wants to get in on a Reckless, but he can't quite get into range. The stun is beautiful, it denies the engage, and Cabo, oh. the entire team is gonna get taken out here. But oh. the forward. He will get the one for one trade, but no. In comes the ultimate from Karthus. Fnatic now trying to clean house. There's nothing left for Jisuke. He goes golden, but it's just a matter of time. The Skittle not gonna be able to pop as the flash does come out, but Fnatic setting their sights on the base. Vitality finding themselves caught against a wall. Fnatic absolutely. Absolutely dominating across both of these games. They are one win away from taking the series. Fnatic are just rolling in and making it look easy. Time after time, Vitality can pressure them in the early game. But no, no, no. This team knows how to play the map. They take every single objective on you the map. You want to play? I want to play, Astro Coach. Sign me up. Oh, man. What do they give to Whippo now? Looks like Scion going into the top lane. 
running the teleport up against Azuke's Ignite. Azuke, of course, getting an early level advantage could be huge. It has yeah, the tornado flash. now stacked up. Flashing nice. backwards. Use the tornado for the double knockup. Now needs to dash through. Jazuke looking for another creep to get out the wind wall. Not going to be useful. First blood dropping for Broxa. Yeah, Jazuke actually did play that well once Engage came in, but bottom lane's going very aggressive, getting heated. Yeah, not having the grass. Can't really proc it relatively easily in that lane. Not against Oh James. my goodness. Oak landing multiple points of action on the map. We've got our eyes on Cabo Shard. Knockup oh, is going to come ouch. down, and Whippo grabbing the kill after being ignored for two games. This time he's getting a bit of attention. But that's what you can do. Kale, a little bit more terrifying at level six if she can get to the max stacks. But hold that thought because Attila has died on the bottom side. Huge confidence play coming with the Fnatic bot lane. We're going to need a in replay. In this bottom lane 2v1, because Cabo Shard has also died in his lane, there's just no options for Mowgli and how he wants to attack Survivability. the map. Survivability. In the laning phase, I hold my breath because Nemesis is in trouble. Knock back immediately in the Ozzy Wall going to come out, but now Jazuke is in the midst of the entire team. Nemesis pulling back. They might look for the re-engage to find more. Already the knockup going down in the Whipple. He's trying to lock his target down, wants it bite. He's going to get the ultimate coming out. Jazuke can't flash that one. No option to do it. Broxa getting another fanatic with the turnaround here in the mid lane. And it's all Broxa. He does so much damage. They're just diving. What? Oh, no. This is an absolute slaughter. Ultimate. Gonna be used from Attila there, but still the stopwatch is clutch as Hill is saying will manage to survive. And it's reckless and Hilly having the confidence to make oh, a play no, like that. It's Broxa, round two. Is he gonna go for anything else? Bye bye. Wait, Three, gentlemen. zero, and two on Rek'Sai. We wanted to see You're if I the first damage that Sivir can have if you tank the full boomerang blade, but now gonna move forward. They're trying to back off, and it looks like at the end of the day, Whippo may give his life, but they used Rift Herald there in that exchange, and the channel was cancelled. So Whippo's going to go down, but trades his life for that cooldown. Can clear the wave with the zombie form of Scion as well, and Vitality cannot be happy to dive mid. Oh, Jizuke tried to go in, saw Nemesis stepping under tower, but the entire team is now on the way. He's getting the reset on the passive, but it is simply not enough. Broxa now on a rampage. Fans wondered in game two, why give him the card this again? To change things up, but that meant giving Broxa the Rek'Sai once again. Here we go, it's a dive top. Whippo so incredibly tanky. Broxa now just gonna step forward, walking this kill down, knocked back, but Whippo going to be able to back away in the end. The ulti comes out. Broxa grabs shut down. another one. Mowgli is gonna be able to grab the shutdown. Hillisang now. Caught under the tower. Mowgli gonna do what he can to delete this wave, but they're stepping forward to grab a bit more. Broxa unstoppable. Three stacks, looking for the fourth. But we're gonna try to step forward the flash forward to keep it going. They don't really have the damage okay, for this one, but Hillisang <laughs> just hits him with it anyway. Calm down, buddy. You're not getting that kill. Vitality actually trying to respond. Notice Jack Troll on the flank, but his Moby boots were canceled by the wolf camp that I think Attila aggroed. They're trying to make the play, but the pass coming out to disengage oh, in the end, though. It's the wall. Brom is such a good counter in towards the Gragas. You throw up the, the shield, and then Jack Troll gets made for the dive. The hook, now landing him back, but he's going to give his own life for this exchange. The rocket comes in. Maybe they're going to be able to grab two in the end. That's something given back with the TP now coming in. Kapo Shard here as well. Nemesis level 11. The KO is ranged. Jazuke, ready to turn this fight. Whippo. Been performing well this series. It has been Mowgli. His early games have been good. He's finally on a champion that is dealing damage. I say, yes, it's not ideal, but give him what you have. He now has the Sork Shoes as well as the Runic Echoes. Deal some damage. Blow people up with the Gragas. He also will combo that small game. And Nemesis now continuing to push forward. Maybe look for a little bit more damage here. Once oh, five stacks get kicked no. off with the knock now going to come through. Windwall going to block everything, but Nemesis just walks right past it and finds his kill. Absolutely brutal. And out of the jungle, what can't this team do? How high can they go? Whippo, though, now in trouble. Kale now coming down. Ultimate could just be used on Whippo to keep him alive, and it will be. Cabo Shard now going to find himself in trouble. The stacks are going to come in for the Kale once she gets those flame waves. It's going to be so much harder. You can see Mowgli taking so much damage in the exchange, and the on the hunt has been used. Predator, I don't know if it's going to be enough. Hillisang throws out the ultimate. No trade was for Mowgli. If he steps back, he dies. If he steps forward, he gets hit. Now trying to run as Broxa flashes forward, gives the kill. The Reckless goes under, comes right back up, and Nemesis on a rampage. Fnatic are just going to keep pushing right here. They have Broxa. They actually had more impressive stats in the early game in the second half. Tilsen gets on out of there. Jack Tool's really trying to catch him. Yeah, desperately running forward, but there's not a lot of damage here. Nemesis is going to cut through him, but the ultimate now coming in. We'll be able to finish it off with the help of Jinx, but it's a one-for-one -one trade. Combo's the floor, but a very strong Kale. It does get taken down. Nemesis ooh, is on the edge of death. Ooh, He's going to manage to live. He's going to manage Attila flashes forward, wants the reset, takes a lot of damage, though. Out comes the ultimate. Bye to Attila. They still manage to find the turn. That's just not even fair, guys. Brox is 7 1 and 7. Nemesis is 6 1. Anime better than this. The one thing we're missing now is like the vitality comeback to make it at least a close game. Make them work for it.
Zuke now gonna try to find something with Attila. They're gonna interrupt the knock up there. That's gonna be huge, but Attila's still gonna get ulted out by Brox. Brox is gonna look for the true damage. It's gonna be a huge bite here. Doesn't what even is need that? to use the Queen's Fury. Zuke now on the retreat does get the knock up. Nemesis just cutting through the team. Fnatic playing the team fights front to back, and it's too easy because Brox can 1v1 anyone on the map right now. He's hunting Boys, for Lord. Right now, Nemesis and Brox are both simultaneously trying to 1v5. It's 20 minutes in. The Baron is gone. Oh, Hilly! Jackal's in trouble. <laughs> Nosey standing right next to the black. Last cone. No. Another sacrifice. A TP used onto the top side. Mowgli died too. The team has an incredible score line. I think the biggest problem Fnatic are facing right now is who actually gets MVP. <laughs> That's it. And you don't want to count a team out in, in, in a best of five, but when uh, you can do that, it, really? it just feels <laughs> over. And oh my, well, look, look, he's literally on the Nexus 1v3. He does not care. Look, comes in. He's just going to keep, keep it going. Does he get the chance to use the what? ultimate as well? He does. That's the double kill. Wants a few more. They're walking right into the fountain. They just keep feeding him. That's the Quadra. Is he going to get the pet down? <laughs> I cannot believe it. Oh, to kill for Nemesis. The series is over. And a reminder to all of Europe, Fnatic did not come into this split to compete. They came to dominate. Well, Dracos, I think Nemesis answered my question. MVP goes to him. Remember the name. It's no longer Fnatic Caps. Nemesis got thrown a lot of shade from the community early on. And yes, he gets the pentakill, so it looks really nice, but he was clean this entire series through. He has completely been one of the fundamental pieces that turned this around for Fnatic. His synergy with Broxa, his zone control for Reckless. This guy is a monster for playoffs. I am just blown away.